Brian, thanks. Well, you heard a lot about the flu last month, but the peak of flu season is actually right now. NBC 15's Max Hess reminds us how to stay healthy as the illness spreads. It's a virus that spreads quickly, and its symptoms, well, they aren't pleasant, to say the least. Fever, uh, oftentimes a cough, uh, sore throat, uh, and lots of body aches. Robert Leschke is an ER doctor at St. Mary's Hospital in Madison. He says now is a big time for the flu, especially for younger people. This uh, season, uh, we're seeing an increased uh, amount of symptomatic uh, influenza in uh, the younger uh, population. Normally, it isn't all too dangerous, but a certain type known as H1N1 can be a whole new deal. H1N1 uh, strain is a different uh, subtype um, uh, that uh, oftentimes will uh, just result in uh, more uh, significant respiratory pathology. Meaning that it can attack different respiratory tissue and sometimes be fatal. Just like in the case of Omaha, Nebraska police officer Greg Hamill. He passed away from complications of H1N1 on Wednesday. Influenza can uh, hit people pretty hard pretty fast. Um, and whether it's the H1N1 strain or a regular strain, um, uh, the high temperatures can just make people feel uh, pretty uh, rotten. The best way to prevent the flu to stay healthy um, as a baseline. Also, you should wash your hands frequently. Use over-the-counter antibacterial soap. Keep sick kids at home. Stay away from areas where people are generally ill. And last but certainly not least. Getting your flu shot um, is probably your best line of defense to prevent you from getting the flu. That was Max Hess reporting, and there are still plenty of flu shots available, so it's not too late.